This week I played Prey and there's so many ways to play the game but today I'm gonna play the game with only throwables. So here's some gameplay why I explain the rules here. One, I could only kill, hurt, whatever with only throwables like recycling charges, EMP charges and more. Two, no nerve mods cause I thought this was gonna be easy. Three, I have to deactivate every turret I see. So I wake up and let me explain this speedrunner trick. So I throw a chair up on a door, then jump backwards up there, and tightrope jump to the wall. And to go to the top and call it cheating, but this is gonna be where I start all the rest of my challenges. Then I got blocked from watching the video, so I get my discount jetpack and became the new IT guy. So then I learned from January that I need to go to deep storage to recover a blueprint for an arming key. Now I got my psychoscope and then I had to play peekaboo with a phantom. So I entered guts and had to be a couple explodey boys to recover a key code. Almost got crushed by a discount dumbbell then I found out from a voice recording that I need Diamond Show's voice to enter deep storage. So I head to the cruise quarter and snatched an a file from the rooms and explored a movie theater. I almost got lynched by some typhoons. So I played dead then I got into deep storage. Skip to the time stamp if you don't want to hear me rant because oh, goose up upload or reveal. Let's see the title. Can you beat Skyrim with only followers? Hmm, sounds a little bit too familiar to my first video video I have ever uploaded to YouTube when my mic was as crap as my editing back then. But if you've seen his video, you know that he said his fans wanted this. But unless he's reading YouTube comments, there's nothing in his Discord. So I'm fine with someone already doing a challenge that someone else did. But I don't know, the least you could do is say, hey, these other people also did this. Like I did in my Bioshock video and my Fat Fault for Fat Man Only video. You think, oh, this is a little nitpicky, but when you're three videos in, that's just copy paste video ideas. I have a problem with that. I don't. Who knows? It's like he really needs to get different sorts of content that's not just Skyrim because that content well is dry by now, and I think he knows it. So, where are we? Oh, deep storage. I clear up the top floor, and now the real game begins with how many recycling charges I made. Then I found out mimics don't do zero gravity. But I got my army key and got locked in by all so I launched myself out to deep space to get some air. With me getting my space, I go to the cargo bay, and the typhons are friendly since I don't have any neuromods. Yay. Anyways, with me from the, the enemy, I left the cargo bay people to die. Then, now I have to deal with the second hardest thing in this run, is the telepath to go to the power pack. But now the hardest thing in this challenge is not the lack of nerve mods, it's not the helplessness I feel when I run out of things to throw out Typhons. It is the goddamn Tetris style gameplay I have to play. Since I have no glue gun or higher jump nerve mods, I swear this thing took longer, longer than I last in bed. So I reset the station and arm my key, so I go to talk with Alex. So now he is telling me to scan some coral for a new version of the Null Wave. After some flashbacks and scanning, I found out Doll, my hero, in the screen. Some might say he's trying to kill you, but I'd rather say that his black box ops can kill Typhons, I cannot. Then I became a discount Ghostbusters and got rid of Kisper and recycled some trash. Then, after a lot of confusion, I armed both keys and blew up Talos 1, and I answered the question. Can you beat Prey with only throwables? The answer is yes, you can. If you'd be so kind, you could like and even comment some feedback. I'm all ears. If you want to see me actively want to die, go to my Twitch. And if you want to see more, you have to wait a little bit longer. Maybe till next week. Or maybe the week after that.